Hello and welcome to this tutorial uh, in which I, I will show you how you change the overall feeling of the picture uh, with uh, kind of playing around with the color cast that it has. So I've selected two pictures of uh, the same girl but they are taken at very different time of the year. And basically I'll show you how you change the color cast that those two pictures have and how it changes the feeling that it uh, that it emits when you look at it first let's start with the snow with the picture that was taken in the snow and uh, basically what i'll start with uh, doing is uh, i will i'll just duplicate that layer that i'm that i will be working on and then i'll open the color balance uh, tool in photoshop but I, i'm using photoshop cs4 and I will always start with the shadows. In this case, I want to make the picture look kind of uh, cold and uh, you should feel the, the cold of the winter. So basically I'll move my uh, red cyan cursor towards the cyan and uh, magenta green, I'll move towards the green. But uh, make sure you uh, kind of look at what's going on and don't don't push too hard because it kind of mm, makes no sense to go all the way but push by only a couple of points plus 16 looks okay here maybe did this one a little bit green more more to green and then i'll move to the highlights and i'll change them to go to the kind of the colder uh, part of the colors as well so I'll just move them again to cyan green again and the yellow blue one I'll push towards the blue and then when I'm done with the shadows and the highlights I'll, I'll move to the midtones and then I'll start pushing them as well but the midtones you should uh, be careful because slight changes make big differences so you should make sure that nothing kind of goes out of uh, proportion in the yellow blue one I'll just push a lot because I want more blue cast into my picture so it's up to plus 16 here and I'll just merge the two pick the two layers the one the color balance and the layer that I'm working on and I'll show you what the difference is so this is with the new setting for the color balance and this is without and as you can see the original one kind of has the yellow from the flash and uh, it doesn't feel as cold as the one that you see here and i think this works pretty good for that picture so now let's i'll just close this one i'm not gonna save it and i'll go to the a picture that I took of her in the summer and here it's a very uh, yellow scene overall there is a lot of yellows not too much greens not too much blues so basically I'll just do the same I will um, duplicate the layer that I'm working on but this time when I open my color balance I will start pushing uh, my sliders the other way so basically instead of going to cyan I'll go to red because I want to give that uh, this picture that warmed feeling that the summer have so basically I'll go towards the red on the cyan red where I'm doing the shadows towards the magenta on the magenta green slider don't overdo it and then on the yellow blue I'll go to the yellow and this is for the shadows. I'll do the same thing again for the highlights. Go towards the red on the cyan red. And it's always kind of a you you poke around with it and at some point when you think it's a you're getting the effect, right? You kind of push it a little bit more and you're done with it maybe I went way too red here on the mid tones so basically I'll just pull back 
a little bit the magenta I'll pull back a little bit and the yellow I can push and then I'll merge the two layers again and I'll show you the difference this is the corrected layer let's say it's corrected after the color balance and this is the original one and you can see how it kind of uh, gives it that warmth that the, that the original uh, photo doesn't have and I'll just zoom in so you can kind of see because we are losing her uh, eye color a little bit but of course you can always uh, take special uh, time and uh, redo the eye color because if you have uh, somebody with as bright colors in the eyes as her it's nice to keep but that's all I wanted to share with you and I guess uh, you can always uh, try it and uh, see how it works for the pictures that uh, you are doing at the moment. I hope this is helpful for you. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.